Sanjay Gupta, MD, CNN Saturday and Sunday morning, 7.30 Eastern. Amy and Tim Hoffman's relationship was right out of the storybooks. We met right after college in our hometown, actually grew up in the same hometown. We got married in the year 2000, and we'd been dating for about three years. After the wedding, dreams of someday starting a family. But there wasn't any rush. Amy was still in law school, and the couple wanted to wait to have children until they were more settled. The plan essentially was for me to get started, start working, get myself established at a firm uh, where I knew I would be for a long time, and then start working on having a family. But things didn't go according to plan. After four years of on and off trying, the Hoffmans realized something was wrong, and Amy went in for a battery of tests. Reproductive specialist Dr. Mitchell Leaf says Amy's problem is becoming all too familiar among women under the age of 35. She says there is one test called an AMH that checks the egg count. This actually can tell you on a score of less than 0.1, which is the lowest number, up to four or greater, how many eggs you might have left as your ovarian reserve. Amy's doctor gave her that test, and the result was shocking. The number came back incredibly low, which reflected that I had a really low egg count. Sage Kronk and her partner were on their third round of artificial insemination when Sage had an AMH test. She looked at me and she said, okay, you have a .53. I did look it up online, and um, my AMH level where it was, was that comparable of a uh, typical of a 40-year-old. You may not know that a woman's eggs may not necessarily age in tandem with a woman's body. That means it's possible for a woman in her mid-30s to have the eggs and thus the fertility chances of a woman much older. We're finding that many of these ladies actually have lower ovarian reserve or the number of eggs left than we ever had anticipated. We're not sure why, but we're trying to get more of the young women to at least get that test done so they would know where they stand as far as being able to have children in the future. Hi! Despite their low test results, neither Amy or Sage gave up their dream of becoming pregnant using their own eggs. Both women were able to harvest enough eggs to create embryos. Amy is thrilled to be pregnant. It's amazing um, to, to start to think positively that it is going to happen. And both believe that all women should get tested and hopefully avoid some of the agony they went through. Do it early on. Find out where you're at. You know, don't wait until you're 33 and think you have a couple years, you know, to get pregnant a couple of times. We just think that we're invincible and that we can all have children into our 40s. And for some people that's possible, but for most people it's not. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.